way do we go? Ten, do you see a light down any of these tunnels? You brought this on yourself. Oh! Clem! But it's not too late. Let go! For him, at least. <laughs> Follow us and I sprain your ankle. Follow us after that, I break your leg. I won't let you take him. I won't let you make him a monster. Not any further. Clem! Shh! If you want to live, let him go. Don't test me. Violence again. Unsurprising. I'll kill you before I leave her. You did this. You made him this way. You had him empty an entire clip into that woman's head. It was only half a clip. Is this what you wanted? A boy who only sees an answer at the end of a barrel. Look at me and tell me this is what you wanted. You didn't see what she did to our friends. It's easy to judge when you don't have the facts. I'm not the only one handing out judgment. Only his is fueled by rage, Clementine. Rage he's carried for a long time. Too long! I've told you before. You don't get to tell me how to raise him. I liked it. I liked killing her. It made me feel strong. I don't care if it was murder. I don't care if it was anything. It felt good. Best feeling I've had in a long time. Maybe ever. AJ, come on. I know you don't mean it. If I shout it, will you believe me then? How many times will he have to say it before you've realized you've lost him? Stay out of this or I swear I'll claw your fucking eyes Either out! Neither of you are listening! Anyone that wants to hurt us should be dead! And I'm not sorry about it, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it! AJ... You say I don't mean this when I'm only doing what you always say! You always said surviving was the most important thing. Be strong. Be brave. If something wants to hurt us, shoot it right in the head! Killing Lily made us safe. There's nothing wrong with liking that. I can't listen to this. You think you can change him? Do it then. Talk to him. to stop and expect me to get it. You can't tell me to stop when you know it just confuses me. I know this world is hard. For us, for you especially. And killing, it's almost unavoidable these days. Having to do it, having to let you do it, we've learned we have to live with it. But you can't ever like it. if I should have said I liked it. Maybe I don't know the right words for what I feel. Aren't you glad Lily's dead? You wanted me to kill her. Aren't you glad I did? It's... It's complicated. Because? Because. Because why? When I asked you to shoot her, she was a threat. And yes, I'm glad that threat's gone, That's but... what I've been saying! But you kept going when she was down. You kept going even when you knew it was too far. That's different. 
You weren't happy firing that gun. You were angry. Angrier than I've ever seen. I need you to hear me, AJ. You can't talk like this about killing anyone. Even Lily. I've heard enough. It's obvious you can't teach him. don't understand who we are. I understand you. I've seen your kind. The world is full of you. I've been you. All you know is violence, death. He could live a peaceful life, but, but it's like you won't let him. It might seem hard to believe, AJ. I know it does, but listen to me. No one has to die anymore. Not humans. Not walkers! James, this philosophy of yours? This philosophy is what has kept me human! It's what will keep any of us human! It, it takes more than words. You can't just talk people into being peaceful. You think I don't want a life like that for AJ, for myself? God, I'd love to live in a world where I didn't have to worry about killing or dying. That's just not how things fucking work. Not yet. And what you're doing now isn't going to change that. What is it? He doesn't get it. Not like we do. Not like I do. Let me help you, Clem. Trust me to tell which people are bad. That I won't ever use my gun because I like it. But only to keep our friends safe. Please, you can trust me to decide when it's right. Okay. Really? You're growing up too fast, AJ, and that, that scares me. But you've seen things and done things no one your age should have to do. You've earned my trust. If you say you won't ever enjoy killing, I believe you. I won't. I promise. Feel that? Yeah, that's the way out. Go. I'll make sure you won't be followed. Thank you. Be safe.
Coast is clear. If the shore is that way, then the school is probably that way. Sim was the third. Huh? The day after AJ killed Marlon, you already know Violet and I voted for you to stay. A Sim was the third vote. Wait, that means Omar voted us out? And Ruby? Uh, yeah. Huh. What made you think of that? A Sim said you knew how to survive. He could just tell the school would be safer with you there. I voted for you because I liked you, but his reason, it was better. I just, I just thought you should know, Asim was right. We were safer. We were more scared than we let on when you met us. That's really nice of you to say, Ten. Thank you. That's okay. Now that we're out of danger and going back home, it just made me think of it. I like a sim. If Marlon was still in charge, we'd be taken away to wherever, or dead. Instead, we fought back, because you showed us how. We weren't safe with Marlon, even in his safe zone. We were just... hiding. Huh? <gasps> You're not dead. That's good. Did everyone else escape? Damn right. They took that cart and hauled ass back to the school. But you came to look for us. Never would have forgiven myself if I didn't. <sighs> it's over, Clem. The raiders are gone, and we got everyone out alive. Ruby said Violet's eyes aren't infected, so that's good, too. They'll all be waiting for us back home. Any idea which way that is? I haven't been out here in a while, but I think there's a bridge. That way. It's the fastest way back. Let's go. killed that woman back on the boat. Was that your first? Yeah, my first. It feels like bile, but not quite, you know? Or like a scream that doesn't know if it should or not. You have a tendency to beat yourself up, Lewis. But don't do it now, because you did great back there. I don't know if great is the right word, but having a home means defending it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I really thought we were gonna die on that boat. The dumbest shit always goes through my head when that happens. My old pet turtle Jeff, my grandma's phone number, the word that lost me the fourth grade spelling bee, recommend, stupid shit. Anything new this time? 
Before my parents divorced, they were building a house. I begged my dad to put in a skylight. Begged. Please, if you love me, you'll do it. That shit definitely didn't work. So we made a deal. I got straight A's, he'd put in a skylight. And you remembered the skylight just now? They never got to build the house. I don't even know what color it was gonna be. I should have asked. Sure should have. Well, what color did you hope it was? Oh, uh, well, maybe purple. Is that your favorite color? No, but you don't see a lot of purple houses. Why not stand out? <laughs> of course you'd say that. Of course. Okay, I'm starting to visualize the place. How many floors? Even number? Odd? How many? You only really need one. I grew up in a two-story house, and you get tired of stairs pretty quick. Single floor it is. I always saw myself a pretty down-to-earth guy anyway. I like what I'm seeing. I could definitely live there. Give me a last flourish, though. One thing to really bring it all together. Come on. The coup de grace. The insert other French phrase here. How are your grades? They would have been straight A's. Then it looks like we're putting in a skylight. Thanks, Dad. Uh, you're welcome, weirdo. We get back to the school, we are building that house. You really think we can? I really hope we can. Can I help? Of course you can. You're in charge of painting. Come on. We got a home to build. Okay, just take your time and keep moving forward. It's far. Really far. I think we can jump it. Yeah, I think we can. We just gotta be careful not to land too hard. <laughs> 